Welcome to the WISE Confidence Interval Overlap Game. Confidence intervals are frequently used to summarize data, but even experienced researchers commonly misinterpret them. Consider this example where we have two bar graphs with 95% confidence intervals. And the question is, are these means significantly different if we were to test them with a two-tailed t-test? Note that the confidence intervals overlap a bit. Now many people believe that if confidence intervals overlap, that indicates a non-significant difference between the two means. But in fact, the means can be significantly different even when there is some overlap of the confidence intervals. This is called the overlap fallacy. In this video, we'll demonstrate an applet that uh, gives us insights into why confidence interval overlap might be misinterpreted and then we'll try a game that is designed to improve your ability to interpret the overlap in confidence intervals correctly. You can access these applets on the WISE website. Okay. The WISE confidence interval overlap applet shows the p-value for conducting a t-test comparing two means. We assume there are 100 cases in each of these uh, samples. Now recall that a p-value is the probability of observing a difference between two sample means this large or larger if in fact the population means are equal and all the assumptions for a t-test are satisfied. When the sample means are equal as we have here there's a 100 percent chance of finding a difference this big or larger and so that's why the p-value is 1. Now we can adjust the right bar up as far as we want and we'll find that the p-value gets smaller and smaller as we go farther up. Uh, let's set this so that it's at exactly 0.05. When we get to close to 0.05 we can use an arrow key one way or the other to get to the exact value. Now, perhaps surprising to a lot of people is the overlap between the confidence intervals is really quite substantial when the p-value is 0 0.05. Uh, but the confidence intervals give a misleading picture of the amount of overlap. And the reason is they imply that we have a uniform distribution where in fact the confidence intervals are based on an underlying normal distribution for the sampling distribution of the mean. We can display this by clicking the little button, display the sampling distributions. Now we can see that we're most likely to have a value close to the mean, and it's less likely to have values out in the tails. So even though the 95% confidence intervals overlap quite a bit uh, when the p-value is near 0 0.05, the actual underlying distributions don't overlap nearly as much because these distributions are very thin in their tails. It's unlikely that a sample drawn from one of these populations would be mistaken for a sample drawn from the other population uh, if we had a difference this large. Or put another way, if the null hypothesis is true that the population means are actually equal, a difference this large or larger in fact would be very unlikely. Less, only one chance in 20 or 5% chance that you would find such a large difference between sample means if the population means really were equal. And now let's take a look at a game that will help us learn to interpret the overlap of the confidence intervals correctly. The object of this game is to adjust the difference between the two means to attain specific p-values. So the bar graphs represent two sample means, each with a 95% confidence interval around the mean, and we assume the samples each are 100. The bar on the right can be adjusted by clicking near the confidence interval and moving it up to get a smaller p-value. Uh, we can move it actually quite high if we wish. Now we'll be asked to adjust the bar to show specific two-tailed p-values ranging from 0.1 to 0 0.001 and you'll receive a score from 1 to 10 for each attempt. An average score for the five attempts will be displayed and rated if, and if you attain a perfect score of 10 on all a special message will appear. We can start the game by pressing the new game button at any time and the help button will give these instructions again. So the first challenge is to adjust the bars to give us a p-value of 0 0.01. Now we saw that 0 0.05 was 
uh, a considerable overlap. So 0 0.01 will have less overlap. So we might take a guess that it would be somewhere in uh, in this range. When we have it set where we are satisfied with that location, we can press uh, the space bar or any other key, but I like the space bar, and we'll see how well we did. And we did very well. Uh, we hit it exactly uh, with the score of 10 on that one. All right, so we press the space bar again, and now the challenge is to set it where the P is 0 0.025. Well, 0 0.05 is uh, down here, 0 0.1, so maybe 0 0.025 would be somewhere in between. We'll see how that one does. Ah, I'm, we're on a roll. We'll try another one. Press the space bar again, and this one's 0 0.1. Okay, so now this one has even more overlap than 0 0.05, uh, so it would be down in this range, more or less. Let's see how well we did with this one. Uh, we missed it by just a little bit. Uh, there, in fact, is even the little red bar here shows the correct location. So we missed it by just a little bit. There's even more overlap than uh, we estimated. All right, we'll try another one. 0 0.05. Okay, that's the one we saw before. And that was somewhere around in this range. And we'll see how that does. Okay, 0.9. In fact, there's more overlap again than uh, I estimated. And we'll try another one. And this is 0 0.001. So now this is one where we have not very much overlap at all. In fact, uh, maybe somewhere out in this range. And see how this does. And I hit it. Now, I've done this before. So, um, so I'm pretty happy with this score, actually. Let's see how we did. So I'll press the space bar again. And we get our score. Uh, major underlord of the stats universe, not bad. And we get a gold star, an actual star, the way it looks. Now we can begin another game by pressing the N key. And uh, I'll just try it again. Maybe uh, just give it a rough shot, 0 0.025, let's say about there, 0 0.9, okay. Press the space bar again, 0 0.001, take it up about there. Oh, I hit it, very nice, 0.05. Go down about here, hit it again. Try another one, 0.1. That's going to be down a little farther. I missed that one by a little bit. And one last one, 0 0.01. And we'll move that up in here somewhere. And I missed that by even more. Um, but still a pretty, pretty good score. And let's see how we did this time. Here we are again major underlords of the stat universe and I am to the world what you are to statistics that's uh, that's pretty nice um, all right well so your challenge now is to see if you can beat my scores so the take-home message is that confidence intervals can overlap to a considerable extent and still represent means that differ significantly. So the example here is where the p-value is 0.05 and we see the substantial overlap of the confidence intervals. And we might keep in mind that underlying these confidence intervals are actual normal distributions. And so we can remember that there's not much out on the tails and that's why the overlap is, uh, is so small. Well, I hope you enjoy the game and that you're able to reach the perfect score of 10 on all five of the p-values. On behalf of the WISE team, I'd like to thank you for your interest and attention. And these applets were programmed by Justin Mary.